The third Sunday after the Epiphany, Year B. From the first letter to the Corinthians, the present form of this world is passing away. In the name of the one who created this world, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the midst of all the changes in our world, Jesus calls us to discipleship. And our readings for this week ask us to consider what discipleship requires us to leave behind. Our psalmist puts this question in terms not of rejection, but of trust. For God alone my soul in silence waits. Truly, my hope is in Him. What such trust requires of us is that we loosen our grasp on all the other things, good and bad, that we've come to rely on instead of God. When our psalmist urges us, saying, put no trust in extortion, in robbery, take no empty pride, though wealth increase, set not your heart upon it, the Ninevites could have been the intended audience. They're so bad that Jonah doesn't even want them to repent, lest God forgive them. So Nineveh must leave behind its exploitative ways, and Jonah must leave behind his desire for the Ninevites' destruction. But what about the disciples? Jesus calls them away from good, honest labor, the support of their families and the employment of their neighbors. At some moment, these disciples knew that responding to Jesus' call was more important than tending to the nets that are the symbols of their livelihood. This leaving behind is a matter not of repentance, but of priority. Now, Paul's instructions about wives and joy and grief and commerce call us to live in mindfulness that the appointed time has grown short. There is no time left for us to say, "Eh, for now I'll tend to my spouse or my joy or my grief or my business, and later I'll tend to God. No, now is the moment of decision. And the choices that we make now will shape both us and the new form that the world will take. Let us then choose faithfully in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.